Hi, Fred. How you doing? I am great, Mr. Fish. How are you? I am also good, but I'm not as good as you. You've got quite a nice little fishbowl going there. You got a castle. And I've got some seaweed if I ever get hungry. Um, okay, that's great. Hey, let me ask you a question. How's the temperature in there? Temperature's great. Not too warm, not too cold. Good. Now let me ask you another question. There's not too much heat in there for you, is there? Mr. Fish, what are you talking about? I just told you that the temperature in here is great. Well, yeah, but I was wondering whether there's too much heat in there for you. Mr. Fish, heat, temperature, it's all the same thing, isn't it? Uh-oh. I think we're going to need to have a talk, Fred, because we need to learn about the differences between heat and temperature, they're really not the same thing. Really? Really. They're related, but they're not the same thing. Here, let me show you. If we take the temperature of your fishbowl, it tells us that you're right around 72 degrees. Very, very comfortable. That's what I told you. Right. But just bear with me for a minute. Let's say we had a thimble. A what? A thimble. A what? A thimble. A uh, what? I don't know what a thimble is, Mr. Fish. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. A thimble. It's like this. It's it's a it's a tiny little bucket-looking thing that people put on their fingers when they're sewing so that they don't poke themselves with needles. Okay. Right, right. Just bear with me here. Let's say we've got one of these thimbles, and we're gonna like get just a little bit of water from your tank. Ready? Bloop. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit of water, right? Right. Okay, okay, just bear with me here. Now, the temperature in your fish tank is 72 degrees Fahrenheit. So, the temperature of the water inside this thimble is also 72 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Yep, I've got you so far, Mr. Fish. Okay, good. Well, what I want to do is see how much time it will take to raise the temperature of this thimble full of water to, well, let's say around 90 degrees, okay? Okay. All right, so let's take this thermometer. We're going to move it over here to the thimble, right? And here, we'll put it right up here. And now we need some kind of source of heat. Okay. Yep, let me get one. Okay, here is a great heat source. So, Fred, what I want you to do is tell me when to go, and then when our thermometer reaches about 90 degrees Fahrenheit, I want you to tell me that it's time to stop. Okay, Mr. Fish, but how will I know when it's time to say go? Oh, that'll be easy, Fred, because we've got music. That was pretty fast, right? It sure was. Right. So, remember, this thimble, which is now about 90 degrees Fahrenheit, started out at around 72, which was the same temperature as the water in your bowl. See, look. Hmm. See, 72 degrees, just like it was before. You know you're not fooling anybody with that thermometer, right, Mr. Fish? Be quiet, Fred. Anyway, the water in your tank is 72 degrees. The water in the thimble is about 90, 92. And it got there really, really fast, right? Right. Okay, so the question that I've got is, how quickly would the temperature in your bowl reach 92 degrees? Wait, what? I don't think I like the sound of that. No, don't worry, Fred. It's going to be fine. No. Ready, set, go! Oh, okay. 
Yeah, that's a bomb. Can't go into bed. I mean, maybe a little bit warmer. So that's that one. Wait. There's a fish. There's a fish. Hey, it's starting to get really warm. Like, very really warm. Ah! Yeah, that's a bomb. Oh, that's a bomb. Oh, that's a bomb. Fred, you doing okay? Mr. Fish, what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> Fred, just calm down. Calm down. You're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. Mr. Fish, what is the point of all this? I'm really glad you asked, Fred. Look, the point is that it took a lot longer for the water in your tank to reach that 90 degrees than it did for the water in the thimble, right? Right. They're the same temperature, right? Right. But it took a lot more heat to get it to the same temperature. Remember, heat is a measure of thermal energy. It took a lot more thermal energy from our fire to get the water in your tank to 90 degrees than it did to get the water in the thimble to 90 degrees. You got it? I think so. Here, Fred, let me show it to you another way. So look, we don't need the fire anymore. Let's get rid of that. I like the sound of that. Right. So instead, let's look at a couple of ice cubes. What are you trying to do to me? Don't worry, Fred. It's going to be okay. Look, here's the question. Which water do you think is going to be the most effective at melting that ice cube? Both sets of water are now about 90 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Right. And we have two identical ice cubes, right? Right. Okay, so let's say we pour the water from the thimble onto this ice cube, and we take this ice cube and put it into your tank. Which one is going to be able to melt that ice cube better? I don't know. Okay, okay, fair enough. Let's test it out. First, let's start with the water in the thimble. Let's pour that water out just like that. And look, see, the ice cube melts just a little bit, not all the way at all. Right, okay. Sir? Well, look, it's going to take energy in order to change the state of that water from a solid to a liquid. That takes thermal energy. It takes heat. Now, let's say we're going to take this ice cube right here and put it into your fishbowl. Here, let's move the uh, thermometer out of the way for a minute. Okay. Let's put it back into your fishbowl and bloop. Wow, look at that. It's melting, 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 and now it's gone. Amazing. Right, I know. And now let's check the temperature of your fish bowl again. Check it out. Right back down to the temperature that you would want it to be, right? Right, Mr. Fish. Thanks. Thanks. Ooh, and hey, just for fun, let's check out the temperature of that water from our thimble. Whoa, check that out. Really low, right? Right. Wow. So what's the point, Mr. Fish? The point is, there was more energy in your fishbowl, more thermal energy. Not only was it able to melt the ice cube completely, but it lost a lot less heat. The water from the thimble, it was exactly the same temperature, but it didn't have enough energy to melt that ice cube. And it lost a lot more heat. Here, we're all the way down to about 33 degrees Fahrenheit. So let me get this straight, Mr. Fish. Heat and temperature are two different things. That's right, Fred. Heat is a measure of thermal energy. Yep, and it's usually measured in calories. Okay. Temperature, though, is, well, what does temperature measure? Good question, Fred. 
temperature is more a measure of the average thermal energy of the molecules in a substance. Oh, okay. So let's turn to the next available page in your science notebook. We're going to title this heat versus temperature. Guys, temperature is the average amount of thermal energy in a sample. This is what a thermometer is going to tell you. Temperature is measured in degrees. On the other hand, heat is the total amount of thermal energy inside a sample, and that's measured in calories. So a fish tank full of water has more heat than a thimble full of water, even if it's at the same temperature. It took more energy to get the fish tank to that temperature, and because of that, there's more energy in the molecules and the water in that fish tank that are able to make things happen, like melt an ice cube. So folks, if you need a little bit of extra time to copy this down, just hit pause, and when you're ready, hit play. Mr. Fish, that was great. Thanks so much for teaching me about the differences between heat and temperature. No problem, Fred. That was my pleasure. I hope I get to see you soon. Me too. Boing. Zoom.